Hey guys, it's Erica with Sirens Aquatics. Today I wanted to share the video I made of deep cleaning my axolotl tank. I kept putting it off, so it needed a better clean than normal. He always gets top offs and some water changes, but sometimes the food builds up in the waste and it just really needs to be cleaned out. Because of stress, I like to chase him into a bowl and set him aside in some water. They tend to get stressed out easy, so it's just not worth keeping them in the tank while you're doing a clean. It's really easy to just set them aside in a bowl. Sometimes you need to cover it if they're jumpers or they get nervous. But I just add a few plants for him to be calm in. And maybe I reference him as a he, but we don't really know what its gender is yet. As you can see, I've got some hornwort in there. That just helps keep him calm. He feels like he's hanging on to something, which is like his favorite activity in the tank. I like to use a thin hose, not one of the smaller ones, but not the biggest one because this allows you to really target the waste that you need to suck up. And my favorite thing is to pinch it when I need to stop the flow so I'm not sucking up sand or water unnecessarily. I didn't feel like using much filler of sucking up water, so I didn't waste my time recording it. One trick I always use when I'm filling a tank back up is to set a jar into the water. This prevents like leftover floaters or plants. It prevents them from floating around. So it fills your tank with less mess. I'm also using aged water, which is really important for any tank. You can also use chlorine neutralizers and ammonia neutralizers if aging your water isn't enough, but I age it for 24 to 48 hours at least before I use it with the axolotl. Cleaning and maintaining your axolotl tank does not have to be complicated. They're a really simple animal to keep. You can also keep friends in there with them. I keep shrimp with mine, but I do understand that he could become food at any time which is important for you to realize. Also, shrimp aren't going to damage my axolotl like some fish might. And when it's time, putting your axolotl back in is really easy. I just set the bowl in and let him go. Look how big he's gotten. He has really grown a lot since I had him shipped here. And you really just need to slip him in and let him go easily. Don't force him to go too quickly because he could swim into the glass and hurt himself. And my particular axolotl will just slowly sink down to the bottom, as you can see. Don't forget to subscribe to Sirens Aquatics on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Instagram for more content like this. I hope you enjoyed our video. Please leave a like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and we'll see you next time. me like silently judging me. I know you are, Valhalla.